Bill helps people, both individually and collectively. And whether he was helping a patient or advancing a community goal, his strength is in developing a solution and getting it done. Without Bill Stevenson, a lot of projects would have fizzled. There would be a lot of things left undone, and Longview would be a diminished place. I met Dr. Bill Stevenson when we were freshmen uh, in medical school in 1964. We had common interest of hunting, fishing, and enjoying the outdoors as well as horseback riding. We developed a very fast friendship. Uh, he brought total joint surgery to East Texas. He was an outstanding physician. I feel he certainly is deserving of the Dr. Sam Mack Lifetime Achievement Award. Dr. Stevenson and I have been friends for some 36 years. Not only were we friends, I was a client. He took care of both of my legs, my knees, shoulder, whatever was broken, he fixed it. I took care of his animals. Whatever was broke, I fixed it. My wife asked him right before he retired what he was going to miss most about retirement. And that was that he enjoyed his clients, not only working on them, but visiting with them. And he liked to just, after an exam, open the door, talk to them about the weather, what was going on in their family, and that sort of thing. And he got to be closer to people rather than just a doctor-patient relationship. Bill's charitable and civic contributions have been as diverse as his interests, but there are two things in common. Bill has not been afraid to jump in and get his hands dirty, whether it was operating heavy equipment to build the athletic field at Trinity School, or building a bridge and marking trails when he led the team of volunteers who built the equestrian and hiking trail at Caddo Lake National Wildlife Refuge. Second, he did not seek or expect recognition. He saw something that needed to be done, and he did it. For more than 50 years, I've known Bill. I found him to be a good physician, a good father, and a good citizen who's tried to make a difference in Longview and East Texas. I know of no one more deserving of this award.